Hello everybody to lesson 32 of HTML Deep Understanding course. In this lesson we will know the difference between post or get and when to use the post or get. So first of all, when to use the get. The get, it's the default. Firstly, it's the default of the browser form. If you have written any, if you haven't written any form, uh, any method I mean, it would be get. So for example here, you have the method, you have choose it, get. We deleted that thing, the get would be the form, uh, the get will be the method that uh, the browser will use. The get appends the form data in the URL. So, for example, in our example here, if I write in here, for example, uh, Ali, for example, okay, Ali or any letter, and then submit it. It would be first name, which is that one that form the value of that form is Ali so uh, the information is in the URL so it's visible the link of URL is limited it's about 3000 character so it doesn't work with large files or large data that we want to send for example a post if you need to send a post or you, you need to send a, a big comment it will not be worked here because it's limited with 30 or 3000 character uh, don't use get with sensitive data like that like the passwords or the credit uh, the bank your bank account information don't send it with get information or with get uh, form it's a useful form when the submission needs to be bookmarks okay if you need to submit and something and you need to get a bookmark use the get also get is better for non secure da da data like uh, query strings in google so and if there is no secure data the file or the data is short and it's visible to anyone it's not important okay use get okay the next when to use the boss the boss uh, is always secure okay uh, the post has no size limitations and can be used to send large amounts of data. Uh, form submissions with post cannot be marked, bookmarked. Like uh, we have know that get could be bookmarked, but post could not be bookmarked. Okay, but the file could be as long as you want. It's as large as you need it, but the the, the the most important point is it's secure no one could know your information for example here if i change the get to post save it and come to the website refresh and i have entered for example ali and enter go i'm sorry we should delete that thing and see refresh i mean what the problem is the, the method is post Save it and refresh again. What's the problem? Uh, let's delete the target. And make it the default, which would be on the same. It shouldn't show your information here. And why? Because you are using post. Yes. Now if I written Ali and submit it, it will not do or show the information here. Okay? So if I written, for example, Safha, take and write submit query it will not be printed here it means it's secure it's invisible but if i write here get it would be visible and everyone could get that data so uh, if i refresh I'm in the case or i don't know what that if i write here safha take and refresh the information will be in the url so it's not uh, useful with sensitive information but post is useful with sensitive information okay we we came here to the end of this lesson but we there is a small uh, tag that we could use it with forms which is the field set okay so we could use field set that field set is used to organize our uh, code so we could use the field set with forms so sorry the felt set with forms. So if you need to organize your forms, you could use the felt set lock. 
this an organization of the felt set you could adjust the width the height of the felt set and there's something called legend legend which we use it to print or put a, a title a title for the form for example here in our case we will write first first name form save it Let's see to see what you have okay let's adjust the width of the felt set let's see width 12 for example 500 pixel let's see what do you have refresh doesn't work I mean with CSS you could adjust that you see style width and then see 500 pixel we will know the CSS later don't worry so first name for first name and this is the form imagine that you have 100 forms or uh, not 100 I mean you have 10 forms okay and you need to get a different between them so you, you need to, to differ between them so you could, you could use the felt set tag with legend that could be more uh, I mean organized and more uh, accessible and more, more useful that you could know this form is for first name the other one is for I don't know what so it's great like that so it's enough for this and see you at the next bye